Vikings. Good morning, football on NFL Network. Kyle Brandt talked about uh, the guys who could shine the brightest in week four. Here's who Kyle Brandt thinks is due for a big week. How about a quarterback? I'll go with a quarterback as my brightest star. Would you like, uh, would you be interested in a quarterback who right now is passer rating, the best measure of a quarterback, is higher than Mahomes, Tom Brady, Dak Prescott, Aaron Rodgers, and Josh Allen, or is in top five in all the major passing categories? Kirk Cousins, yes, oh, yes. the Minnesota Vikings, has played better He's than all of those guys. Crushing. He has not been good. He has not been great. He has been excellent. Mm -hmm. And here's where I come out. Kirk Cousins is a very easy target for a lot of different reasons, many of them self-imposed. A lot of people like making fun of Kirk Cousins. A lot of people like having issues with Kirk Cousins. That's fine. But when he plays well, turn it around and hype him. No one is playing quarterback right now in the league better than Kirk Cousins. And if you watch that Vikings-Cardinals game, Kirk Cousins said, I got this. I'm going to go right down the field to set up a game-winning field goal that the Vikings proceeded to blow and miss. He's off to the best start of his career. Makes me wish if they had those, some of those Zimmer defenses from maybe a couple of years ago, yeah. the Vikings would be looking at as a legit NFC contender, not NFC North. They play at home this weekend against the Browns. It's Baker versus Cousins. Get your jokes, get your memes, get whatever you want, but just get your butt in front of the TV and watch Kirk <laughs> Cousins because there's not a better quarterback playing in the league right now than him. And Mac Robinson, earlier in the week, we heard Delvin Cook say exactly the same thing on this show. That's a dangerous thing. If your teammates think you're playing the best, there's an air of confidence that that brings to the entire offensive side of the football. Yeah, and especially, too, I mean, with the receivers and the skill position guys that he has around him, it makes sense. And again, when it comes to Kirk Cousins, when he's firing on all cylinders, I expect nothing less out of him. You know, again, he's somebody who manages and doesn't really turn the ball over, obviously, as he's shown this year. So, you know, he's somebody who I think that when he's playing at his best, I think that he's somebody who can be very dangerous in this league, depending on who he has around him. So, again, I, I look at, you know, Justin Jefferson. I think that he could possibly have a, a big day um, because, again, it depends on who's covering who. You know, I, I think that Denzel Ward, you know, he's played well, uh, played well last week. But at the same time, you know, he got picked on a little bit early on in the season. So, you know, I'm going to be interested to see how they attack this defense. And I, I do think that. It could it could turn into a, a bit of a dogfight uh, as the game goes on through the air. So, you know, again, going through uh, the way that this offense performs, I think that Kirk Cousins playing at the top of his game, it's something that you have to worry about on defense. But, uh, again, I, I think that it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out on Sunday.